So my dad and I got to pick up a car 45 minutes away. All it needs is a jump. So brought the Awanfi portable jump starter. And this product I was sent, I don't even know how to say that, Rock Gold tire inflator. Check it out. Comes with a carrying case. Pull it out of the carrying case. This is what you got. Plugs into your cigarette lighter. Here's your cord. As soon as you plug your cord in, it lights up. You set the PSI you want it to be at. And then you hook it up to the tire. Press power. And pull the jump starter out of the box. Haven't got to use this one yet, but we're about to today. We got the jumper cables. It's got the window smasher, compass, flashlight, USBs to charge your phone and everything. And that's where the jumper cables plug in at right there. Oh yeah, and here's the carrying case for the uh, tire inflator. Comes with an extra fuse and adapters. All right, here's the infinity we're picking up. So dead, the headlights won't even come on. All right, we're gonna plug our jump pack in here. Oops, look a little cruddy. Hook it up to the positive, hook it up to the negative. Ooh, we got light. Yep, now we got lights. Totally dead battery, let's see if it'll start it. Put those keys. There they are. Let's see. Did we overload her? I don't know. That terminal looks terrible. But I smell something too. It says power 99%. Ooh, it's too much of a draw on the battery pack or something. I don't know. Let's see. All right, we're on the green. Should I disconnect that when it starts? No, it needs juice to stay running. Gotcha. It's red right now. Yeah, I'm gonna... I did unplug it when it started. Yeah, leave it on there okay. and I'll rev it a few times. Okay. Yeah, I think it has an automatic shut off and because the alternator's not charging, it dies. That makes sense. So, uh, because it's been sitting so long, that alternator is gonna need some more spins. Yeah. We might have to push it out and uh, put the jumper cables on it. Right, that's what it costs. But to get it in neutral, we can use this because it has to have power to be in neutral, to click into neutral usually. Gotcha. Yeah, I thought so. I couldn't even open the trunk. It was good. It's still green. I can give it one more shot and see if it will start it up. Stays in there. Yeah. Make sure she's Shuts off as soon as that jump pack clicks. Yeah, it clicks off. You can yeah, it clicks off. It's, it's like protecting a, itself. Somewhere. Yeah, it's protecting itself. Which is good. Yeah, like as soon as the lights go off on the dash, then it dies. Like the alternator's not producing any mm -hmm. anything. And if it's been sitting for nine if months, it, certain things do that. But if they don't get a certain feedback, they shut off. Like my PC does it. If it's not registering the same feedback from the wall, it shuts off. All right, there's that. Push time? Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and push it out, put it on the jumper cables, because we might have a bad alternator as well here. All right, we got it around the jumper cables. Let's let the battery charge for a while. Could be a shot battery or alternator. We'll find out soon. See, I, I had a feeling I'd need a tire inflator. Running it up to uh, 35 PSI sounds good. Oh. 
hard to do with one hand while filming. There we go. I think we're locked on. Shows it's at 24 PSI. It looked lower than that the way it's squatting, but all right. Fill her up. That digital display looks different in real life. That's just how cameras pick up digital displays. All right, shut off on its own at 35.5 PSI. Worked good. Nice. That was the only tire that was low. Rock girl. Tire inflator. Not too shabby. Great to have uh, handy in every vehicle. Every vehicle should have one of these in a jump pack, man. It's just, you never know what you're going to run into. Buddy might have a flat tire. You say, oh, man, I got you hooked up. So the Wanfi uh, power pack worked pretty good. Well, we started three, four times. Still has 88% battery left. The more you use these, the more worn down they get. So great for emergencies. Using them every day to jump cars at the garage. Eh, I've gone through a couple, but they're so handy. It's worth going through a couple. All right, she's been charging for about 10, 15 minutes now. Let's give her a go. Dusty from sitting for so long. We got power. Not enough. Got a feeling that battery's junk. Couldn't jump it with the other car. It would barely take any power. This is a bad battery. Finally found the sticker on it. And it says uh, 2016. So that makes sense. Seven, eight years old. Uh, but put the jump pack back on it. And I, as soon as it started, revved it up to 4,000, 4,500. Got that alternator moving from sitting for nine months or whatever. Now it's running on its own. I'm sure if I shut it off, it won't start again. So I can't shut it off. I gotta drive it all the way back to the garage. And luckily it has a half a tank of gas in it still. So I don't have to stop for gas. So we tried starting it two more times with that jump pack and the jump pack's still at like 70%. So that's six jumps with the pack working good. Oh, well, we made it guys. She's on the road. I hear some rusty old brakes. Exhaust is a little loud. Continue for four miles. Quiet GPS. But uh, she's shifting good and has plenty of power. Nice. I just saw a lifted El Camino. Like it was skyjack. It was up there. I wish I would have got that. Well, we got her back to the garage. Couldn't have done it without a spare battery or a jump pack. Because that battery is bad in a way that it just sucks down any power you give to it jumper cables wouldn't work in this situation so it's a good thing to have and the tire inflator it's a good call to bring that out she needs a little bit of exhaust work shock struts fluid exchange and, uh, battery get her fixed up tire was a little low on my truck so i decided to use it while i had it out Fills it up kind of slow, not super fast, but it's convenient. It will reach all four tires in a truck too. I still had, uh, with the back tire, I still had a foot or two to spare in cord length. 